today we wanted to have a, just a sit down video and talk to you about our story a little bit and why we decided to go traveling in the first place. I don't know how young they start. If you can remember, of course, let us know. But you know, you're always asked, what do you want to be when you're older? And when you're a kid, you know, you have some wacky ideas. For example, I wanted to be a weatherman and then an astronaut. I did the weather as well. The weather. I, I use paint. You know, I, I, I have a completely blank page of paint and I put on uh, squares and triangles in different colors and said that's the weather. Yeah. Um, I don't think anyone would have hired me though. From about the age of, I guess, 12, 13, 13 yeah. you know, when you start actually picking the subjects that you enjoy, they try and ask you like, what do you want to be when you're older? What kind of career do you want? And it sort of makes sense so that you can choose the things that you like, but you're asked this pretty much consistently from that age, mm. all of your life, actually. You kind of, it doesn't really stop. Usually well, and, people and, and, settle. And, and, unless you pick something, that question yeah. doesn't stop. Unless you pick. Most people settle, you know, around the age of 25 to 30. They've, because they ask you because they need to know, well, what exams are you going to do? Therefore, what subjects do you need to take? Which university do you need to go to? Which would be the best university for you to go to to get a job in that specific field of what you're interested in so that you can do that career for the rest of your life? And, and that's also very outdated. <laughs> and I have living proof of that uh, in my, my grandfather, who uh, about 10 years ago or so, I don't actually remember when, but it will be around 10 years ago, uh, maybe 15 now, he stopped working. He was uh, some sort of engineer. And ever since then, he's been deteriorating uh, because he doesn't really have an identity. Yeah. Uh, he essentially lost his identity when he lost his job. And that's and the thing. It's about labels. Like, usually people identify themselves through either one word or very few. And quite often that's like what your career is. Like, I'm a oh, scientist. I'm, I'm a an doctor. artist. And, uh, whatever. And it's like, oh, okay, so that's you. Or like, oh, I'm funny. I'm, a you know, in a group of people, you're the comedian. You're the smart one. You're, you're lots the creative of one. Lots of TV yeah. shows have characters built upon one or two personality traits. My and, labels were uh, that I'm the creative nice one, you know. Yeah. But like that shouldn't work for you and especially not defining one label as what your career is because your career doesn't have to be one thing everyone says oh you know if you go traveling and and um you know if you get a job whilst you're abroad don't worry that's not your career you can do any sort of job it doesn't matter because that's not your career well why not a career is just basically what you want to do to earn money if and you, I guess what's your, what you're more, most consistently good at that you seek to yeah, do. Yeah, like, you like know. usually people have a consistency in their job and what they work but, as. But that's why being like like defined as a creator is much better because you can create anything you want. And oh, yeah. you, you're not limited to, you know, we're not limited to just creating travel videos. You know, that's what this channel is mainly about. But it's not what it's just about because we want it to be more about life stuff, uh, including travel. So, you know, we are, we, that's why we don't define ourselves exactly as travelers. You know, yeah. we're, we're just people. You know, we, we, we just <laughs> aim to, you know, live a happy life. And that's what we are trying to create yeah. and kind of portray on this channel. So yeah, you know, we put up with the work, we got through it, we had an end date, which was extremely helpful in our case. Mm. We had a nice break in Copenhagen a month before we set out, and then we went to New Zealand. Well, to Indonesia first, then to New Zealand. And we became, as the term goes, full-time travellers. Yeah. Living on the road, working, getting money, m money here, yeah. you have a job, you know. I was starting the YouTube channel. like Best doing job I've ever had, by the way, in <laughs> New Zealand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so um, we left, we had a really good time, um, we experimented, we found our, uh, certain limits of ours, we had some downtimes, so like always nothing out of the ordinary, no life, you meet some good people, you meet some crappy people, horrible people drive you insane, <laughs> all stuff basically, but kind of towards the end of New Zealand, we yeah. started realizing something else. At the end of New Zealand... We were thinking of going and touring around Southeast Asia. Lots of people do it, you know, same with if they've been in Australia as well. Lots of people decide, I'm going to go through Vietnam, Cambodia, Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore, um, all those countries. We had the money to do it. We had the time to do it. We had no ties at home. And the thing is, 
we didn't want to do it. We mm. realised that, like, that wasn't what we wanted to do. We didn't want to jet off and spend six months touring all those places. Or even a month. It, it doesn't it, matter it was how long. Like, it was like we had given ourselves the label of a full-time Time traveller. Traveler and we had and to upkeep that image. Yeah, in To a present way. ourselves, to keep that image going. You know, like, like kind of kind of in the, in our heads. That, that I think that's what kind of subconsciously we felt like we had to go. I mean, I mean, we had the money to to go around Southeast Asia. You know, we we could have uh, gone and that, done that, but uh, we just didn't really feel like it. We wanted to actually sit down and 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 do Freedom Strider. The channel w was was really really young at that point. <laughs> I think we had nineteen subscribers at that point. It was like, well, we 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 need to actually do do some solid work on this. You know, we spent three months in Chiang Mai, as lots of people do, and yeah. we kind of just used that as a base. Right, we're gonna do some work. We did do it. We, uh, we had a couple of weeks in Bangkok. We did a visa run to Kuala Lumpur, which was amazing. And then we came home. We flew back to Europe, somewhere in Germany. Uh, yeah. Don't remember. And went back. And, we um, flew to Berlin. Yeah, flew yeah. back to Berlin yeah. and went back home to the UK. Now we're in the UK. And we're, and, not... and, and we're setting up our base. Um... And we're not giving up on travelling. And just because we were full-time travellers when we, you know, we were touring Indonesia and New Zealand and those places, doesn't mean we can't be again if we do decide, you know, we've got future plans, Australia, US and all those things. doesn't mean we cannot be full-time travellers again, mm -hmm. but we're going to carry on travelling in Europe. We're going to hop to destinations where we feel Basically, like, when we feel we, like. we burst our bubble so we can blow to another one. <laughs> I should maybe use that as a title somewhere. Burst a bubble and blow another one. So essentially, we left because we were exhausted by the systems, schools, and and people trying to categorize us in in, in neat rows. Yeah. Um. And what actually turned out is that by becoming full time travelers, we managed to categorize ourselves, uh, <laughs> and restrict ourselves in in the same fashion that actually caused the same type of exhaustion. <laughs> so by the end of uh, our, our travel run this time, we were actually knackered by it. We were like, I love traveling. It's not boring. I really want to see this. But uh, I honestly, I just want to sit sit on my butt for a minute. Yeah, like, it's you not know, we, it's like... We would have loved to go to Vietnam and Cambodia and Philippines, but we were just like, just, I want to, but not right now. Can I go later? And yeah. yes, yes, you can go yeah, later. <laughs> you can, you can. The, the, it was, it was like you know. We can go uh, later. Perspective just... in their heads. It was like, of course you can go later, the and, thing, unless the apocalypse happens. The same thing with Australia, because it's right next door to New Zealand. I want to go to Australia for a year or maybe mm. two years and do the same thing we did in New Zealand: buy a car, tour around in it, but not right now. Can we do it later? Yeah, so, so, so we wanted to get the balance, you know, <laughs> travel and then have a base where yeah. we feel at home. And because we have a very comfortable situation here, here at home in the UK, where we have the freedom to, you know, do, do our stuff, you know, we, we said, well, we're coming home. We're going to save some money. We're going to plan for the next big trips and we're going to tour around Europe, basically. That's what we're going to do. We're going to carry on traveling Europe. We're going to, you know, carry on planning our big trips. And we're just going to carry on what... And, with what makes and us happy. Just, we, keep, we keep saying this, but don't identify yourself as one thing. You know, one label. You're not just one thing. If you're just one thing, then you're just a robot, okay? <laughs> you know? So, uh, I, I... It's very I difficult to do, though. Because yeah. we've fallen multiple times into that. And it yeah. does take some effort to dig yourself out yeah, yeah, and go like, on. In, in a way, like, you, you, you catch yourself. It's like, you know, almost startle, you know. You, you know when you're you an to, idiot, you know. You know when you go to sleep and you're just on that edge and you suddenly jolt yourself awake. It's that. That yeah. is the feeling. It's like you, you <laughs> realise what you've been doing. And, and you have to really be careful not to feel ashamed of yourself as well. Because you're like, oh, I was like, I knew this. Why am I such an idiot to, yeah. to do this? It's like, no. It's like, there's no shame in admitting that you have fallen into a trap. There is plenty of shame in pretending that you haven't. Yeah. So if you liked it and you got this far, then uh, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos uh, on travel life and if you like to see more videos where we just talk it, talk, talk to the camera, basically, and talk at you, uh, then, you know, just they, they should show you a comment down below and we'll, we'll do some more of them. Uh, if you decide you don't really like to listen to us, then don't watch watch any more <laughs> videos like this. Um, but otherwise, subscribe and click the bell if you want to be notified of everything that we do. So, 